Hey guys, it's Graham. Good morning, and today I'm going to be carrying you guys along with me as I travel down to Miami to get my au pair visa for Spain. Today's video is going to be my very first vlog style video. I've never done a video like this before, so I'm really, really excited. Also a bit nervous, but I'm really looking forward to carrying you guys along with me to see what this process looks like. You know, I literally just got out of bed like I'm still super sleepy so I'm gonna go and get ready and then I'm gonna come back in just a minute and show you guys kind of some of the documents that I need to get together before I head down to Miami okay so I have about an hour until I leave home so I'm gonna go and start getting ready and pull my documents together and I'll see you guys in just a second Hey guys, so this is a bit of an afterthought, but I did just wanna hop on here and say the next part of the video, I'm showing you what I have to take down to Miami. It's a bit of a boring part of the video, so you can skip past that part of the video to watch the trip itself. So be warned, if you decide to stay, it might get a bit boring through here, but it's really good information, so I do suggest you watch it. Okay guys, I'm back. I packed up a little bit of my stuff a minute ago and I want to come here really quickly to show you guys what I'm having to carry with me down to Miami. So first and foremost, I need this really fancy sheet of paper that has all the requirements on it. You can see that I've gone through and marked off a ton of these requirements, but I went ahead and marked off a bunch of those because I actually mailed in my visa application about a month and a half ago now. So today I just have to go down to Miami to collect my visa in person and I have to carry the originals of a lot of these documents. If you can see here, I have quite a lot of documents here um, and I have to carry pretty much all of these originals down to Miami with me. Uh, one of the big ones is a background check, a Georgia Bureau of Investigation background check with the apostille stamp. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about the apostille, apostille stamp. This is essentially it right here. So that's that tiny little stamp, but this whole cover page is essentially uh, the apostille just saying that this document is legitimate along with that I also have an extra copy of my health insurance for Spain this massive document I don't think this one's necessary, but I'm gonna carry it just in case next I have another copy of my contract and I already sent this to the consulate So this is just another copy just in case they ask for it, but essentially just in the contract I got this contract off of Opair World. It's the contract they use there, and my host family filled it out, and then uh, we both signed it, as you can see on the last page. This is a copy of my driver's license and student ID number from my college. Uh, I did not send the original documents in, so I'm carrying both of those originals. I'm carrying my original driver's license and student ID, but I'm also going to carry this copy just in case. The next document is a Spanish translation of my background check. You can see it here, it's all in Spanish. But essentially, I just had to have my background check translated into Spanish by a certified translator and they had to get this little stamp to say it was the certified translator and that was that. This here is a proof of payment to my language school. I don't think I'll have to bring that today, I'm just taking it just in case. And lastly, I have a medical certificate saying that I'm in good health along with a negative COVID-19 test. I have no idea why they require this test because I did it over three months ago, but they require it anyway, so it is what it is. So those are the documents I'm carrying with me down to Miami today, and it is a lot of documents, but at this point, honestly, I'm just so excited to finally get the visa and get this thing over with. Okay, so I now have about 30 minutes until we leave, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready, and I'll see you guys on the road. Hey guys, so we just got to the airport and we are about to go through security right now. It's kind of weird, we all have our masks. My mom's over here, she's with me. Um, I don't know, it's just really different traveling right now, but um, 
Got to put the mask back on. And our flight leaves in about two hours, so I'll see you guys after security. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a bit of an explanation as to why I'm here today and essentially to get this visa you're supposed to fly down to Miami to apply for the visa and to pick up the visa. But there was a really big resurgence in corona cases when it was time for me to fly down so the consulate sent me a message and said that essentially I could just fly to Miami one time to pick up the visa. I did not have to fly down to apply for the visa. So if you do not live in the city where the consulate is located, there's a good chance you will have to travel there to both apply for your visa and to pick up your visa. So our plane boards in about 10 minutes. So I will get with you guys as we are boarding the flight. Hello. Welcome, hello. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Morning? I am. Nice yeah, absolutely. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> okay, guys, so we just boarded the airplane. It is 12 12. Our flight leaves in like 15 minutes. But I'm really excited. There's a lot of Spanish speakers and mucho español blantes in this flight. So uh, it'll be a good chance for me to practice before heading to the consulate tomorrow to actually practice my Spanish. <laughs> See you guys in Miami. Bye! <laughs> okay guys, so our flight arrived in Miami about an hour and a half ago. So we're just chilling out for the rest of the day. It's about 4 o'clock right now. And then tomorrow morning we're going to go over to the consulate to pick up the visa. One big thing to note here, and you may have heard me say this in other videos, is that to pick up the visa you were given a specific time slot. So I could not pick what time I wanted to get my visa, I just had to go when they told me my time to go. So do keep that in mind if you're booking accommodations, and be aware of the fact that your plans essentially depend on them, but you can talk to them to see about changing the appointment based on your needs. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the pool, we're gonna have dinner, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning before we head over to the consulate. See you then. Hey guys, good morning, it's Graham. Right now it's about 7.18 in the morning, so my visa appointment is in like five hours more or less. So I did want to get on here really quickly and just give you guys a bit of a rundown on what's happening today. First of all, last night it was really great. We went to this nice little Cuban restaurant and today we are going to the consulate, me specifically, my mom can't go with me, going to the consulate and I am going to submit the original documents for my visa and physically pick up my visa. So at this point my visa has been issued to me. I, uh, I have been approved. But I do have to go and submit all of my documents for some strange reason. I have to send the originals, like I have them, I have to give them to the people at the consulate. They have to verify them and then they will physically put the visa in my passport. So it is a bit of a difficult process. Um, I mean, it's really just been like crazy because having to do all this stuff. But, I mean, it's finally all coming together, so I'm not complaining, and truthfully, I'm just glad to see it happen. So right now, we're gonna go down, get some breakfast, and then maybe chill out by the pool for a couple hours, and in four hours or so, we'll leave for the consulate and just see where that takes us. Alrighty, see you guys later. So it is 11.30 for 25 minutes until my visa appointment and we are just about to head out with the Uber to go to the consulate. I'm, oh man, I'm so excited. It's, it's like this feeling, I don't know, I've been, I've been waiting on this moment for like six months and so to have it all come together, it's just like the biggest shock and
and there's so many nerves like I'm anxious but I'm so ready to see it happen um, so our our uber driver should be here in like two minutes and my mom's over there she's going with me you can see her right over there and I have no idea what the appointment's going to look like I don't think she can go in with me but I have my documents right over here in my bag and then I think I just go in show them my documents pick up my visa and go from there so I'm definitely nervous like I have a lot of nerves but it's good nerves you know I'm, I'm ready for this to happen I've been waiting a long time for it and it's finally happening so I think I think I'm ready to move on to the next chapter in my life so uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes Hola señor Rosaldo Sí, sí soy Graham Una cosa que venden aquí 90 centavos Allá lo están vendiendo 5 o 6 dólares Bueno, muchísimas gracias Ok, gracias Tengan un buen día We're here at the consulate. So my appointment is just right upstairs. I think we'll go up there together. I don't really know. So let's go and find out. Hey guys, so I have some super exciting news. My visa has not only been approved, but it is right here in my passport. I literally cannot believe it. I'm so thrilled. I'm so, so excited. So uh, I'm going to talk to my mom right now, that's who I was just waving at. But check this out, let me see if I can get the visa. It's somewhere in here, wait for it. Here it is, here it is. Boom, check out the visa. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to my mom, figure out what we're doing next, and uh, we'll be in touch pretty soon. See you then. Okay, so I wanted to get on here really quickly to talk about what exactly was involved in that visa appointment that I just went to. First of all, it's kind of noisy around me right now. There's like cars everywhere and I'm literally at the consulate as we speak. But I did want to get on here to give you guys a bit of an idea of what's gonna happen when you go in for your visa appointment. So I've actually already submitted all of my documents and my visa had been approved. So at this point, all I had to do was carry in a couple of originals and show the people at the consulate what I had. They gave me the visa and my passport and we're good to go. The appointment itself was supposed to be at 12. It's 12.53. It probably lasted about a half hour. But when I got there, I went through security. They just like scanned me down and stuff. And then I gave them my passport. They took my passport. A lady came out asking me when I was traveling to Spain. I told her. She comes back, she hands me some papers with my visa inside. But in order to give me my visa, she did want to see the original medical certificate that says that I'm in good health and also the background check uh, with the Apostille certification and the translation into Spanish. So if you are going, you're probably going to need at least those two things, maybe more. Overall though, the process was super, super easy and like I said, it took about a half hour I was pretty impressed actually at how quickly it went and I didn't have to give any new documents or anything like that. She just looked over my other ones to verify they were real and that was it. My visa is valid for only 90 days and I know what you're thinking, I've worked so hard just to get 90 days, but that's not actually the case. So my visa itself is valid for 90 days, but when I arrive in Spain, I have to go and apply for something called the NIE. It's essentially an identification card for foreigners. That identification card will get me through two full years in Spain if I'm not mistaken maybe just one year I don't know um, it is renewable for two years though but it will get me through the rest of my stay so technically during that time I do not have to have a visa because I will be a Spanish resident in order to get that document I'll have to carry those original documents that I brought here I'll have to carry them with me to a place called Extranjería in Spain where they will look at them verify them and then give me my uh, NIE or TIE I can't remember which I think it's called TIE actually I believe the name in Spanish for it is Tarjeta de Identificación de Extranjero but I'm not exactly sure about that, so don't hold me to it. Okay, so now after getting that, I think we're gonna go and grab a bite to eat. Our flight leaves for Atlanta in about four hours. So we're gonna go and get some lunch and then head over to the airport and fly back home tonight. And then in two days, I fly to Madrid. So, well, technically London, but then Madrid. So I'm super, super excited about it. And let's go and have lunch. All right. So my mom and I are out walking. We're actually heading to Target right now. Our flight leaves in 
about three hours, so we're gonna go to Target and look for some gifts for the host kids. I'm gonna be making another video pretty soon about bringing gifts to your host country if you want to do that. So be on the lookout for that, but we're gonna look to see if I can find some gifts for the kids. I've already got the gifts for the parents at Target, and I don't know, it's maybe a half mile or so, so uh, let's go and check it out. All right, everybody, so we just came out of Target, and we're actually he heading back to the airport right now. Our flight leaves in about two and a half hours, so we're gonna go ahead and get there, get checked in, and I don't know, I may do some work while we're waiting there. But we're waiting on our Uber now, and then in the airport, or maybe later on, I'll show you what gift I got for my older two host kids. Guys, so we are currently in the airport. You can see all around me. We are in Miami International Airport, uh, heading back to Atlanta. I have the visa. I have, oh, I have the visa. It still feels so crazy to talk about. But I have the visa, and we should be back in Atlanta in like two hours, more or less, and then probably back home uh, by about 9 p.m. tonight or so. But essentially the next step in my process is going to be, of course, get back home. And then tomorrow I have a full day back home. I'm gonna see some family, see some friends. And then Wednesday night I fly out for Spain. And I'm gonna be making a whole nother vlog about that and probably releasing it maybe a week after this one more or less. But it will be a bit of an adventure all in itself because right now legally Americans cannot travel to Europe. Yes, I do have a visa, but nonetheless the situation is still pretty complicated. So we're just gonna see how it goes, but for today it's been successful. We're finally, finally headed back home with the visa and I'll see you guys uh, maybe once we get on the plane or back in Atlanta. Okay, see you then. Okay guys, so we have landed back in Atlanta and now we have to start our trip back to Rome, my home city. Uh, it should be about an hour and a half drive or so, but honestly, and I'm not going to vlog much about that because it's just driving. but. I just wanted to share with you guys like my feelings after this. I have been working, and I, I, I talked about this a bit back at the consulate, but I've been working for six months on this visa. I mean, it has been just non-stop work, always something, always emailing, always dealing with something. And so to finally have this thing done is just so incredibly relieving. I mean, it's, it's a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. And the crazy thing is I'll be back here in this airport in two days uh, flying to London and then to Spain after that. So it's just been a really crazy process and I'm feeling right now very grateful but really tired too. Very emotionally tired and really I'm just, I'm ready to get back home. I'm ready to relax and enjoy my last couple days. So uh, we're going to get out of the airport, get back to the car. And I might check in when we get home, but we'll just see how things go. All right, okay guys, stay tuned for our trip back home and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so obviously you can tell that I'm not where I normally am. I'm in my bedroom here in Spain. So uh, long story short, it did all work out but you're going to see another vlog about my trip to Spain very, very soon. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video, and I am recording this bit now. I did record it at home, but for some reason the audio didn't work, so I wanted to go back and re-record it. But overall, looking back on that trip to Miami, the big thing I would say I realized about this whole process is one, it's expensive. It's, it's not going to be a cheap, easy thing that you can just 
pop in and do, but ultimately I'm here, it is worth it. Another big thing I learned from doing this process is you're going to have to wait, you're going to have to be patient, you're going to have to deal with the bureaucracy and the annoying little details that they ask you to do. It's exhausting, you know, it's, it's really tiring to do and to constantly put up with it, but once again, if it's worth it for you, then you know if it's worth it. Those are the real big takeaways that I had from that experience getting my au pair visa for Spain. I hope that this video helps you in some way. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and be watching out for that next vlog that I'm putting up very soon about my trip here, how I got to Spain, and maybe some of my initial thoughts or maybe I'll do another video on that. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Muchas gracias por ver y hasta luego. Chao.